What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty Lego Guy here and today we're going to be looking at one of the most underrated Clone Wars sets, if not the most, and that is Count Dooku Solar Sailor. That set 7752, it had 357 pieces, 4 minifigs, came out in 2009, and it retailed for about 55 US. So that might be part of the reason why it's so underrated. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into the um, positives and negatives of the set. I honestly really think it's a really good set. It's honestly amazing in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we'll get into exactly why. But uh, yeah, enough talk, let's get right into it. So to start off, let's take a look at the Solar Sailor itself. Um, just so you guys, and I'll, I'll give you a 360 view of it. Just so you guys know, you can pick this set up for about 100 US, I think brand new, which is actually, or even less, 90 US. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'll close that up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, honestly, this set looks pretty good. We'll get into some of the features. So to start off, let's take a look at the cockpit. Now what's interesting is the droid actually comes in just this little seat here, and you can slide it back in. I think that looks pretty good. The only thing is I really wish Count Dooku could fit in there as well because honestly that's what really makes this set. That's a big deal. But uh, yeah, it, it's not bad. And then if you look here, it has these bottom pieces that actually work pretty good as a landing support. So it gives that tilt looking look to the set. And then it also has flick fire missiles and they suck as per usual, so not great, but honestly no set really has uh, great working flick fire missiles, I find. Uh, they all kind of suck. And then back here, you can open this up and find a broken speeder. So, um, what's, what's nice about this is you can have Count Dooku fit into it, and he can sit into in the uh, cockpit, but I'll show you the speeder bike. So not a pretty good looking model. I think the one, um, the dual on Geonosis is honestly better, but it's not bad. And then I'll show you in the inside. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, just all in all, pretty good set. One complaint about this as well is I don't really like this. It's not covered up. So when you stick the speeder in there, Shows. So I mean they could have easily covered it up, that up. I really didn't like that. It's just lazy in my opinion But what are you gonna do the rest of the set's pretty good and then what's cool about it as well is You can uh, open up these flaps just like in the movie and Yeah, it looks pretty good um, One thing they could have done is they could have had that material piece or make a plastic piece to go along the front like it's sailing like in the movie, but I Still think they did a pretty good job at this. Um, I really still do like this set uh, But now let's get into the minifigs and uh, see how they did on those All right, so the start we're gonna look at my least favorite minifig Lego has ever made let me know what you guys think is your least uh, favorite minifig, but this guy honestly has to be, he takes the cake. I really, really don't like this minifig. I really, really don't like him. Um, just to give you guys a comparison, and this is not a, I honestly don't really care for this droid that much, but this one looks way more accurate, uh, as we'll see in the uh, movie footage. That's the Duel on Geonosius droid. Just a lot better. Um, yeah, anyways, I, I don't like this droid. I mean, come on, they're so lazy they put a um, skeleton head as the actual head. So just terrible job, I really don't like it. So that being said, uh, if you didn't know how I felt, now you definitely know how I felt about that minifig. Uh, we'll get into a much better minifig, and that is Count Dooku. So he's the Clone Wars version. He has no back face printing. I'll just leave that off so I can show you his head better. But still, pretty good looking minifig. Um, he has that curved lightsaber, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I like him. Pretty good. And now we're going to get to my all-time, well, one of my all-time favorite droids, if not my all-time favorite droids. Magna Guards and Probe Droids are probably my favorite droids ever. 
But yeah, here's the Magna Guard. They've only made them in two sets. There's a Magna Guard Starfighter and uh, Count Dooku Solar Sailor. And those are the only two sets that ever had a Magna Guard. I just really, really like them. I think they did a great job uh, making them. Now, they could be more movable. And there's, you know, people say sometimes that maybe they should have had a, um, you know, a minifig face. But honestly, I think they did a good job. I, I like this minifig a lot. But yeah, uh, that's the minifigs for this set. You get two of these guys, by the way. But now what we're going to do, we're going to get into the movie footage and a couple pics just to see how accurate this set is. What well you have, my old bad one. This is just the beginning. Force is with us, Master Sidious. Welcome home, Lord Tyrannus. So, here's a couple of Solar Sailor picks I thought could help. So, um, honestly, they could have put this in the set. I really wish they would have had that, maybe in plastic or some sort of material, because it would make it look a lot better. Um, here's the Solar Sailor set. Uh, well, I mean, the uh, ship. So, I mean, it looks pretty accurate to that. That's obviously showing the inside of the body. And then here's another pic of the Solar Sailor. So, honestly, this thing's huge. Lego would probably have to downsize it, but um, I still think they did a decent job. Here's another small pic of it landed. But, uh, yeah, those are the pictures. I thought they could help out a bit. Well, guys, that was my review of the set. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, looking at the movie footage and the pics, uh, honestly, I think that the LEGO did a decent job at this set. Um, honestly, it, they did, you know, the shaping's right, uh, the angles are right on the set. The only thing is, is there's a couple improvements they could make. Like, for instance, that back, um, honestly, they could have just covered that up. And then in the front, um, why not have Count Dooku in with the robot, um, or droid, that would look, you know, that would be a lot better. I really think that they could make this again since it's been 10 years since it came out, if you can believe it or not. Uh, 2009 is 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, I think they could make a lot better version of it, especially since they brought out those parachute pieces. If they could kind of do that for the front and kind of give it that as well, this set would be a solid 10. Um, just the way it is, it, it needs some improvement, but I think it was really good for its age and it still stands the test of time. Uh, as far as nowadays, nowadays goes, that's my opinion at least. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Do you like this set? Do you not? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it. 
Um, but yeah, that's about all I got for you. But if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But yeah, that's all I got for you. But take care. I'll catch you on the next one.